Look, when you're out living in Austin and you got things like Lake Travis to hang out at, you generally don't think about the bad things at Austin. But I'm here to tell you, after being here since 1999, there are some parts of Austin that I absolutely freaking hate. That's what this video is all about. All right, so let's jump into the things that I absolutely hate about Austin, Texas. Like I mentioned, I've been here a long time and I've seen a lot of changes from when I moved here in 99, but the number one thing that drives me up the wall is our traffic. It is horrible, especially if you're trying to get around anywhere in town during the day. It's just, it's bumper to bumper. I, I can't even say anything else about it. I avoid Austin during the day as much as I possibly can. You've only got two main roads going north-south. You got Mopac and you've got I-35. You do have a loop around the east side of the city, 130, but it's a toll road and that's gonna be one of my other complaints. But if you're trying to get through town north-south at any point during the day, you just, you gotta avoid 35 and 183. They're absolutely miserable to be on. Getting across town isn't horrible if you know some of the back roads. And again, if you've been here as long as I have, you know some of those. But just trying to get somewhere, you're almost guaranteed to be locked up in traffic if it's during the daytime. And then on weekends, it's almost just as bad if you're trying to get anywhere where there's something cool to do, which we'll talk about in a little bit, because everybody's trying to get to these cool things. And again, you are stuck in traffic. Now, I mentioned a second ago, the toll roads drives me up the wall, but it seems like every new road that's being put in right now, in and around Austin and to get into Austin is a toll road. 183A, 130, 45, all these different dang toll roads. And you know what? I'm from Texas. I'm tired of being taxed doubly. So don't tax me for a second time. Don't make me pay for a road that's already been paid for with my gas taxes. Put in roads that I can drive on for free with my gas taxes and with my property taxes and everything else that I pay here. Now, the Texas legislature did do a good thing a couple of years ago. They instituted a rule that there are no new toll roads to be built, but there's still a couple of them on the books that have already been approved, but they haven't been built yet. So we're still gonna see a couple of them, but moving forward, that problem should get better. End of rant. Number one thing that I hate about living in Austin, Austin area, is the traffic and the toll roads that are seemingly everywhere as the only new roads that are being built. All right, number two thing drives me up the wall, and this is one of the reasons for the extra traffic and everything else that I was just talking about, but it's the crowds that are seemingly everywhere now. Look, I get it. Austin has grown probably three times in the last 30 years. I think some, I think in 85, Austin's population was about 600,000 people. Now it's about 2.5 million in the greater Austin MSA. So I understand that there's things are gonna be more crowded, but all of the things that I talked about in the video, this one here about things that I love in Austin, it's hard to appreciate them because there's crowds everywhere you go. Try to go to Zilker on a pretty day. Try to go to Town Lake and get on a paddleboard on a pretty day. It's just wall-to-wall -wall boats and stuff on there. Try to get out on Lake Austin and enjoy some water skiing when it's a pretty day. It's gonna be almost impossible. Barton Springs, guys, I said you've gotta do it, but you gotta pick your times because if you're like me, and look, I'm, I'm a people person, I like people, but when I'm going out and I'm trying to enjoy some things, I don't wanna be inundated with people. I like to get out where there's some solitude and relaxation and enjoy some things. And the crowds all around Austin are absolutely brutal now that Austin has grown as large as it is. And look, it's not just the downtown places. You go to any of the hiking trails that I really like, Rymer's Ranch, a lot of the lakes around, um, Perdinalis Falls State Park, things like that. At this point, state parks around the Austin area are requiring you to get reservations just to go hiking at the state park. It's absolutely insane, and I get it. With progress, with growth comes growing pains. This is a huge growing pain, which is why it's my number two. I absolutely hate the crowds in and around Austin now. Now, before I go on to number three, I wanna remind you, if this is the kind of content that you want to see, you need to subscribe to my channel, click that little bell notification icon, because this is the kind of content that I bring you at least twice a week. All right, let's move on. The number three thing that I absolutely hate about Austin, drives me up the wall, is it is almost impossible to park downtown. Don't even think on like a Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday, Sunday, don't even think you're going to find street parking anywhere because the city and all of its infinite wisdom sold all the street parking to all the valet parking companies. So 
you could drive around forever and never find a street spot. And when you do, it's going to have a cone in front of it because it's some valet company that's parking cars from five or six blocks over. Drives me up the damn wall. What they end up doing when they do this is they force you into either a city garage or a managed lot. And, oh yeah, by the way, you're going to spend 10 to $15 an hour to pay, park in a city garage. No wonder they sold the rights to all the street parking to the valet people. And then the surface lots that you could pay in are just as bad. So it costs you probably an additional $30 to $40 if you want to go downtown just to hang out at a nice restaurant or a bar or something like that. City of Austin, get it figured out. Get the parking situation under control. It's ridiculous right now. That's the number three thing. Drives me up the dang wall about Austin. Okay, number four, things that I absolutely hate about Austin. Property taxes. If you're new to the Austin area or you're planning to come here, probably one of the things that attracted you is the fact that we don't have a state income tax. That's awesome. So how are things paid for? Well, like I mentioned before, we do have gas taxes that's on every gallon of gasoline that you put into your car, but we also have property taxes. Your property taxes are divided up to pay for everything else, city services, um, fire, EMS, school services, all kinds of things. That comes from your property taxes. So it stands to reason our property taxes are gonna be a little bit higher. But the way that it's done and the way that it's supposed to be done is the state allows the county to regulate these taxes and to say what rate that they're gonna be paid. And when you've gone through a period of growth like we have over the past four or five years where property values have just shot up, the idea is that the taxing entity will actually lower the tax rate because they only need a certain amount of money to pay for the projects that they're doing. They set a budget every year and they need that money. But what the city of Austin and Travis County and a lot of the surrounding counties have done is they've just continued to keep the same tax rate. Some of them have lowered it a little bit, but with the increase in property values, they're just bringing in more and more money and they're getting more and more pet projects and wasting the money on this and that. Now, I'm not saying that taxes are a bad thing. I understand that there are certain things that need to be paid for, but when you're not putting a limit on what it's being spent on and you're actually just creating new things to spend money on, that's a bad thing. So. Again, City of Austin, Travis County, Austin ISD, all of the districts and counties around us. Guys, start putting a little bit of thought into what you're spending money on. Quit wasting taxpayer money, please. All right, fifth thing that I absolutely hate about Austin, and this is gonna go hand in hand with number six as well, but anytime you find a nice new restaurant, something that you really enjoy, you go to, it seems like you go to it three, four, maybe five times, and that thing might be there a year or a year and a half and all of a sudden it's gone, poof. We have a huge turnover of bars and restaurants and things like that in the Austin area. Don't even get me started on Rainy Street, the Rainy District. Some of you guys have never experienced Rainy for what it used to be. It used to be old, cool Victorian style houses built in the 1900s and they were converted into bars. And again, going back to what Austin used to be, Austin was cool because it was weird. It was quirky. It had things like that. And then big cor corporations come in, they knock them all down, they put in giant high rise hotels and everything like that because of the location. And again, look, I get it. I'm in real estate. I understand that that's the cost of progress, but city council, can you help us out a little bit? Slow down some of the growth on the things that make a lot of sense for Austin. You could not find Rainy Street anywhere else in the world. It was an Austin original quirky little thing, just like 6th Street used to be 30 and 40 years ago, but it's gone now. The turnover in our restaurants and our bars and, and, and just things to do like that is astronomical. It's really hard to find something that you love that you can continue to go to. I mean, take for example, the last video I put out, I talked about Franz Hamburgers because I thought, I thought there was still one location left. And then one of our listeners reminded me or didn't remind me, told me, hey, Franz shut down a few years ago. There's none of them left. Okay, there you go. There's your progress. All the things that we love going away. Another one, Hutt's Hamburgers used to be great on 6th Street. Absolutely incredible place to get a hamburger. No more. They replaced it with something that I'll never go to because I really don't care. But anyway, again, cost of doing business, cost of progress, but turnover in bars and restaurants in Austin driving me up the wall. And that leads us right into number six. Again, all of the things that I really hate about Austin, I'm starting to sound like a grumpy old man, like I'm shaking my fist at the cloud and stuff right now. I get it. It's hard when you've been in a town as long as I have, and I can't even imagine what the, what the original Austinites are going through at this point. But <clears throat> the next thing that drives me up the wall about Austin 
and it has gotten us to this point because of all of the growth. But it's all the people who are coming here because Austin is an amazing place to live. And then they try to change it because it's something that they knew in a place that they used to live. Look, if you're thinking about moving to Austin, I would love to help you move here. That's my goal. I'm a realtor. I love real estate. I love helping people relocate and just find things that, that they didn't have where they were. But please, for the love of God, if you're coming into Austin, live here for a while, learn about its quirks before you go start trying to bring in stuff from wherever you came from, just because you might miss them a little bit. Look, I live in Dripping Springs. It's a small community. We don't need a Target in Dripping Springs. We don't need a Trader Joe's in Dripping Springs. There's a Target 15 miles down the road and a Trader Joe's about 16. So we don't need it in Dripping Springs. Same thing in Austin. If you're coming, from a place and you want something that the other place had that Austin doesn't have, maybe you don't necessarily want to move to Austin. Maybe you just need to change a location and where you are with those amenities that you've fallen in love with. Um, again, I know I'm coming across as grumpy old man and some people may get upset with this, but I told you on this channel, I'm going to tell you the truth. And the truth to me is in Austin, one of the things that drives me up the wall is people come here trying to change what we have here. All right. Now, the last one, and if you're still around after my little bit of a controversial last take, welcome to the club. You're my kind of people. But the last thing about Austin, and by the way, if you're thinking about moving here soon, sometime in the future, reach out. I want to help you. But the last thing that drives me up the wall about Austin is here, if people in Austin say it often enough, they start to believe it and it come, becomes true in their head. Now, there is no better explanation of this than the moniker that Austin has given itself, the live music capital of the world. Guys, Austin's not the live music capital of the world. All you have to do is go somewhere like New Orleans or better yet, Nashville, and that fact is blatantly obvious. But, you know, Austin's all about marketing. It's the shiny thing. It's the glitz and the glam, and it's Austin, and it's the best place to live in the world. By the way, I will take Colorado summers over Austin summers every damn day of the week. Different point, different video. But just because you say something often enough does not make it true. And Austin marketing department, come up with something that's actually factual in order to get people here. Because I've talked to people who've come here and visited and they're like, the live music scene is not what it was made out to be. What are they talking about? And I just laugh. I'm like, yeah, have you ever been to Nashville? And everybody goes, absolutely. Nashville's an amazing scene. And for anybody that's ever been there, it's not just country. It's all types of music. But anyway, last thing that I absolutely hate about Austin is how we think that anything we say enough times becomes a fact, regardless of whether or not it's a fact or not. All right, guys, again, if you like this video or videos like this, this type of content and real factual stuff about Austin, like and subscribe to this channel. And if you're thinking about moving here, reach out. If I'm your kind of person, I would love to help you and put you into the home of your dreams in Central Texas. We'll talk to you soon.